Hey everybody, back with the CT70 Silver Tag. I wanted to do a walk around and point out as many of the um, Silver Tag parts that this bike has. I'll start from the front and work my way back. I'm probably gonna miss a few. I don't have the list in front of me, so I'm just kind of winging it here. But I'm sure uh, those of you that are really into these bikes um, the experts will let me know if I miss something. Uh, starting at the front, um, this bike does not have the flat spokes. Um, the serial number on this one is 108650. It's a later silver tag. And one of the things that I do know, um, not every silver tag had the same equipment. And as you moved later into production, um, some of the original silver tag parts fell off. Um, this bike does have, just in no particular order, it's got the black and silver horn, it's got the lip on the front fender, it's got the trim ring on the headlight, it's got the small screw and the brazed on bracket, um, it's got the black brake levers, it's got the thinner knobs, uh, to uh, um, loosen the, the handlebars. Um, obviously, it's got the silver tag on the frame neck. Um, on this side, it's got the shorter muffler. It's got the flat brake stabilizer. Um, Getting around on the other side of the bike. Let's see what we've got. All right, the original Keyhan carburetor has the aluminum uh, fittings for the hoses. Um, I do know that this bike, I've had this disassembled the carb and the air cleaner assembly. Uh, the tailpiece on the uh, air cleaner assembly is rubber. That's my understanding that the very earliest silver tags had metal tail pieces. Um, this bike also, and I believe this to be the original head, um, but this does not have any of the diamond markings on the head. Um, so that would also show that this is a, a later silver tag. It's a silver tag, but later in the production. It's got the one-piece uh, crankcase cover. It's got the JIS screws and kind of the crudely cut. And you can see the spot welds on the chain cover. Uh, let's see, talked about that. Let's see, moving, that's hard for the old man to get up off the ground. All right, let's uh, open up the seat. Original seat pan, um, you can see the three nuts that hold the tool case carrier, but the, uh, it's obviously been recovered. Somebody might be able to tell me, I know there was mention about the gas tank mount being shorter. I don't know if that's in this area. I don't know for a fact that this is, has that silver tag part. It does have the hole drilled in the frame with the wire that supplies the rear brake and tail light. I'm sure there are other things that I'm missing. But I won't waste your time. That's kind of a, a go through with the bike. If you guys have any questions, sir, and again, if somebody who's an expert can chime in and uh, let me know what's what's going on with this bike. Oh yeah, the silver tag speedometer with the uh, high beam indicator that's flat and supposedly made out of cloth. I don't know if that's cloth behind there, but that uh, it is flat. I know there are also some things having to do with the exhaust bracket, but I'm sure one of you guys will let me know uh, what's going on. All in all, this is a very original 55-year-old bike. Um, it's titled as a 1970, 
but from all indication that I've uh, figured or read about, it was probably produced in August of 69. So thanks so much for watching. And again, if you have any questions at all, ask questions uh, through the listing. Um, once it gets started, I'll be monitoring that quite closely. Thank you.